Okay, so I think we should be good. It's fairly level-ish. And yeah. So, I've got the concoction mixed up. Um, I sometimes just tap it like this. So you guys can see that. Try and get a few air bubbles out. Um, I also have these two spreaders. So one's from Art Resin. And then this is a silicone one I got from a local art store because um, it won't stick to the... So you have a little bit of time to work with it. Not like hours, but a little bit of time. And um, so we just, I guess we'll just pour it on and get going. So we've got it mixed up pretty good. I'm just going to pour some more. Oh boy. There we go. Let's see how far we can get with that. Look at how bright it looks already. So we're just going to work the resin around. Pour the whole thing on, I see. Okay. <laughs> I think so. It's okay. That's about four ounces of. going to work it resin around. Up to the edges. And then I'll probably use get on the edge, I'm going to use my gloves, it'll just be easier to get on these sides. So it's still pretty workable. Don't be afraid to get in there because it's really just a liquid right now, so. And if some drips over, it's all good because it's just going to land on the plastic. <laughs> so I'm just getting an even coating, making sure I got all the sides got Covered. Some art resin. I'm so excited because it's gonna look so shiny. Okay, and then I want to make sure I'm on the right stuff. thing again. It will level itself out, um, which is nice. That's why when you have it level, it'll level itself out. <laughs> Just making sure that these edges are covered.
So as it sits here, it'll level itself out, but, you know, it's nice to just make sure that it gets covered. That's where the gloves come in handy. <laughs> So I can see I missed a few silicone spots, so it's okay, you can always put another coat on. Oh, it looks so shiny. I love that. It looks really good. Hi guys, so I wanted to show you the difference, um, these are two fire and ice ones I did, and I put resin on one, and the other one I haven't touched yet, <laughs> so I just wanted to show you the difference, you can see it side by side, um, so obviously the right is resin and the left is not. You can see how it really brings out the colors and how shiny it is. Now the resin job I did wasn't super great. <laughs> I got a poor second coat, but I'll show you what happened. So you can see the little divots, kind of, in the resin. So I didn't make enough resin to cover the whole thing. You can see right there, um, kind of how there's resin totally missing. This is pretty hard though where there is resin. So I'm going to fix this. See here's a whole area that doesn't have uh, resin. But this is all nice and smooth and it's nice and hard. So you can see there's little divots in here and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to pour a second coat on this one and um, so you can kind of see the differences here between the two. See how one's super glossy and the other one's not. So this one has no resin and this one has res some resin. I've got to pour a second coat. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the second coat for this one. Okay, so this one, yeah, has some space missing. Now they say to use um, P80 grit sandpaper, so you gotta sand it so that there's something for the second coat to adhere to. Um, I only have P100 in this little one, or I have some P1200, but that's not gonna work you need some grit. So I'm just going to use this P100. It's pretty close. Um, but they do say you should pick up um, some P80. And it's going to look all... You can see how it's all scratchy. And it's going to look all milky. Like that. <laughs> so I'm just trying to basically lightly sand it especially where it's like super glossy I guess but also up here and it's gonna look really milky which is okay because um, that'll go away with the second coat is what they say so we're gonna try it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna so you can see all the scratch marks and stuff where the resin is. It almost highlights where my divots are. So you just gotta give it a light sanding, they said. And just be careful you don't sand off any paint. 
Like if it doesn't have resin on it. Okay. And the other thing I realized, because like if you can see, all the resin kind of pooled to the middle. So we're going to fix that with a bit of um, cardboard. But basically, old oh, paper towel. Grab some paper towel. And they said to just lightly, you want to just wipe it off, the sanding. So, just wetted some paper towel. Just going to lightly wipe it off. So that we don't have any dust particles. So I let it completely dry um, before I came in and sanded. So I can feel the, te the tooth marks from the sandpaper. Okay, so I gotta mix up more resin. So I also wanted to show you guys um, the fire and ice when I resin. So take three is good luck, right? <laughs> so I've done two coats, um, almost there. The middle is super shiny. Hopefully you guys can see that. I do have, like if you could see the edge here, um, a divot <laughs> and a divot right there. <laughs> So, what I didn't do, which I should have done, is support the middle. So this time, I put a piece of cardboard with like a painter's tape under it so that the middle is higher. And hopefully on take three, the resin will go over the edges a bit better and I can fix these parts that are super low. So, but the middle part is really good. Um, so I'm gonna have to, I'm guessing, sand it again just to put a light coat over the middle. Because I don't think I can just pour right here or right there. But this is my first resin painting. <laughs> so I think next time I would support the middle um, of these ones. And this one also turned out good except for I did miss like a little divot right here and a little divot right there so I'm going to try and fix those <laughs> so I'm going to sand these up and pour some more resin <laughs> 